Hello again. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but uh, a lot's changed in the past, what is it, a year since I've uploaded one of these, so check this out. So, I'm doing a lot of video editing, but I also started a new job. I got hired on as an audio video podcast engineer. So I'm the one running uh, the behind the scenes for a lot of podcasts, making sure that their cameras switch, making sure that their audio is good, make sure we get a good, clean, you know, quality episode every time. So I've been doing a lot of that, but it also leaves me a lot of room to do content creation like this. Please excuse the noise. We have uh, landscapers going on out back. But uh, yeah, so I'm alone in the studio right now. I'm doing some editing uh, for some behind the scenes clips. This is the new camera, by the way. The Sony FX6, it's a beautiful camera. But uh, yeah, I've just been working on some videos and stuff. Uh, we don't really, we only had one episode today. I'm gonna start trying to post more vlogs. Uh, now that I have a legitimate vlogging camera, that's all I'm gonna use this for, is just for vlogging. Granted, it's not as good as my iPhone, but I can dedicate this 100% to vlogging. And it's, you know, it's 1080p. That's still the standard for movies, or not movies, but for TV. So, and granted, how many of you on YouTube are actually gonna watch this in 4K if I even put it out in 4K? Like, you're probably gonna watch it in 1080p. It'll look nice if it's downscaled for 4K, but with that Sony, that FX6, you know how long it takes for me to transfer files? It takes me forever. It takes me sometimes days, one video shoot, like to transfer all the files. So why would I go and make these vlogs harder to edit. I'm trying to do these, maybe not every day, probably not gonna do the days that I'm off, but I'm gonna try to do these pretty frequently now that I have ample time and ample resources and I can actually show what I do for work because before, uh, I was actually working for 2K Games as a QA tester and I was not allowed to post anything from there. I had a strict NDA, I still kind of have a strict NDA, but it's a little bit different now, now that I'm no longer there. But now that I'm here at Sticky Paws, I can actually post about what I'm doing. It's actually highly encouraged. So you guys are gonna be hearing a lot from me. So let's go along for the ride today. So I often get asked by a lot of people who are aspiring video editors and they go, what's the best part of video editing? It's this right here. Waiting for this bad boy to complete. Watch him struggle to get in the door. I came like right at the right time mail lady to get me Nestor's packages. Say hi to the vlog, Travis. Hi to the vlog, Travis. So here at Sticky Paws, we're always trying to figure out ways to like, you know, do new content. So what is this we're about to do? Um, so we've, we've done market research. Um, we've done peer-to-peer uh, -peer testing, blind testing. We've done so many things that, uh, and, and it pretty much all leads down to the fact that we need to create a live stream people to just watch paint dry. And now hear me out. The paint's almost dry, so we gotta hurry up and film this content before it's not even, there's no point. The paint will be dry. So, so I'm really trying to go out of my way right now to, to just set up a camera and uh, get this paint drying action going because, you know, if we're, if we're too early, people, you know, the action hasn't started. If we're too late, I mean, the action has already happened. So we, we gotta get creative with, uh, with what we're doing here, so. Now, now, what is the SEO you think on this? Like, how, how much ROI can we get on this stream? Uh, about, uh, just about three. Nice. Just about three. Just, just over three, actually. Um, all right, cool, yeah, watch and paint for me. So, uh, this is riveting content. You know what's crazy, though, is because of how stupid our generation is, is like, we, we might actually get like a thousand concurrent viewers on this. You know, it's not impossible. However, extremely improbable. Improbable, but I have seen people do dumber shit on TikTok. All right, so now we got to speed up the process because we got to get to the action. Well, we did it. We managed to get people onto Instagram Live and argue for how long did you say we did that video for? At least, <laughs> at least uh, thirty minutes. And the whole goal was like we had to entertain them the whole time. We we were the entertainment. Yeah. The paint drying was just. The I think stage. the average view duration was probably like. Honest, like forty um, seconds. Like, a minute. minute, like I mean, that's long enough for someone to like. I would just like at them and be like, "What color is this?" And then I would they would say a color. I'm like, "No, it's this," and then they'll stay for a while just to argue. So they yep. get bored. It's definitely magenta, but the fact that we have 
reached a new echelon of content creation that we literally just fucking streamed paint drying. It's true. Like, I don't know if we can ever talk. This. Imagine if we did this in like 2006, what the <laughs> technology it would take to just stream. To just do that? To then just stream paint drying. I this camera like wasn't even out then. No. This is an old camera by today's standards. Yeah, it's actually, it's so garbage poo poo. See, if you can look at the screen, it's garbage poo poo. See? Right see see? there. No, sorry, that's just the person watching. <laughs> oh! Uh, hey everybody, it's super late right now. Um, it's actually a couple days later than most of the footage you're seeing. I've just been so busy. Uh, so, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to try to do these way more often. Uh, I have a big day tomorrow with uh, directing my first ever production. So that's going to be the next vlog that comes out. Which is like kind of like me getting ready for first ever production as a director. And it should be exciting. Yeah, so stay tuned.